Hey everybody, it's your Breda Zen and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of March. And what a month we have. Of course, depending on where you're at in the hemisphere, northern hemisphere, we're going to be moving into spring, so springing forward. And then also, for those of you in the southern hemisphere, we're moving into the fall or autumn season, which of course is the um, fall equinox and the spring equinox. Now, during the month of March, we do on March March 21st is when we move from Pisces into Aries. So we start the whole zodiac, you know, trip around the zodiac all over again. So there is new beginnings in there for us. And on March 21st, when we move into Aries, we actually have a new moon on that day too. So a lot of new, new, new energy coming in for new beginnings. So regardless of what hemisphere you live on, there is this energy of endings and new beginnings coming in for us and that is what we're going to focus in on for this reading of course we have a reading for each individual zodiac sign we're going to jump into yours right now all right gemini this is your monthly reading for the month of march we're going to be looking at what is being removed out of your life to make space for something new or moved out of your path so that you can move forward and to see what this is going to be what's being removed what's coming in whatever spirit wants you to know and if you're new to my channel what i do each month is i take a tarot deck i split out the major arcana from the four suits of the minor arcana the major arcana represent like the overall energy that they want to start off with and by the way, all the cards I use in a reading, I do list in the description box of the video down below. So if any of these catch your fancy and you want them for yourself, you know where you can pick those up. And um, this is the star tarot that I'm using today. So let's start off here and see where in your life, what are we going to start off talking about for you, Gemini? What's falling away? What's moving in? What do they want to know? I want you to know about this. All right. So this is where we're starting and you've got <laughs> the star card. So this is a great card. This is about hope. It's about wish fulfillment. Um, it's a very balancing card too. So it's a great energy that's coming in here. Obviously, I represent your higher self, just this very hopeful and filling and uh, wonderful energy that's coming in for March. We'll definitely dig in here more and get more information. We're going to use the Whispers of the Lord Ganesha uh, also to get the general energies like we did for this. So I like where we're starting here because the star card is, of course, this um, understanding what your wish is, is an important piece of this. Let's take a look here. What does spirit else what else does spirit want you to know they do want that one right there and you've got blessings master number 44 so i like it march seems like it's going to be a very blessed <laughs> month for you because <laughs> uh we do have here both blessings and wish fulfillment it seems so let's take a look here and see what message comes yeah you are divinely protected it says ganesha asks you to consider what exactly is it that you want at this time what is your wish what wish do you really truly want to come true not the one that everyone else has told you this is what you should wish for but what is it truly that you want at this time he asserts that your desires are within your reach and the universe is conspiring to help you achieve your aspirations. Since the universe is in harmony with your desires, the how will transpire effortlessly. Wow. Ganesha is bestowing on you blessings of luck and love and new prospects. Be very clear about your intentions at this time. Once you've identified what you desire, Ganesha will work to clear the obstacles and amp up your blessings. Withstand the temptation to succumb to self-indulgence. You're in an excellent affluence phase. And this period will not last forever, so be sure to take advantage of it and act when opportunities arise. Resolve will triumph. The principle of average works in your favor now. 
the more that you perpetuate something that you want, the more likely you are to receive that very thing, even if it feels impossible. These uh, manifestation possibilities are endless and range in subject matter from love to money to success to happiness. Ganesha teaches that your, bless your blessings are continuous, and the realization of the blessing may not be immediately apparent. So trust that happiness and blessings are always being showered on you. What is going on in your life at this moment is external and beyond your control. True happiness and blessings lie within you, in your heart and soul. Um, I love that. And so I feel like they're saying that, you know, it's almost like you're finding a genie, like a uh, genie's lamp on, you know, the beach and you rub it to clean it and boom, here's a genie uh, offering you to make a wish. What wish do you want to have come true? It's like, ooh, what is it really be? What is my intention? What is it truly I want? There's this clarity. It's asking to be very specific. Be very clear on what you really want because this month is a time frame where your manifestation energy is at a high. So I like this. Now we're going to look into the four suits of the minor arcana. And the four suits represent four different areas of your human experience. And the first one that we're going to look at is the element of fire. Uh, and that represents, it's the suit of wands, by the way. It's uh, your drive, your ambition, your inspiration, your passion, your overall energy. So this is going to be what the spirit and creator want you to know about your energetic adventure during the month of March. So for Gemini, what would you like them to know? All right, I do you want this one right here. And you have the Eight of Wands. So a lot, a lot, a lot of energy that's coming in here for you. So definitely there is this uh, flood that's coming in here. It's very exciting, very energetic, a lot of activity that's coming in in the month of March. So very obvious. It makes uh, a lot of sense with all of this excitement, all of this. Um, it is definitely the supportive energy that's coming in that's magnifying and expanding whatever your intentions are. So definitely whatever you're focusing on always grows. But in this month, it like grows very, very, very fast. So uh, even more than normal. So really pay attention to what your energy is, what your focus is, what your intentions are. What are you focusing on? Are you focusing on what you're grateful for? What you do want to have come in your life? Focusing on unconditional love, enjoying peace and laughter? Or are you focusing on what you feel you're missing in your life? or that you have in your life that you don't want or your fears of what may come in or leave because if you focus on that that stuff's going to grow like crazy instead of the opposite so really pay attention to where you're investing your energy we're also going to look at the oracle of the seven energies and see what all spirit and creator want you to know about your energetic adventure for march so what else would you like gemini to know Nope, none of those. Okay. All right, that's the one right here. And you've got willing release. Card number 49. Look at that. <laughs> Dandelions. Those are the things that, at least here in the United States, which is probably, I feel like it's like everywhere, you blow on it and make a wish, right? <laughs> <laughs> Synchronicities, you gotta love them. And this energy is about yielding to a divine plan, releasing attachment to form, especially if something isn't what you expected or wanted, leaving room for serendipity. Some days you have to let go of your struggle to find any answer and focus on other things for a while. This doesn't mean giving up altogether or losing anything. Remember that in our co-creative partnership with the divine, give and take is necessary. You do your part by setting your intentions and taking any necessary actions 
but then you must surrender the form, the timing, and the how to your higher power. Yeah, definitely with blessings and wishes. Let them bring it in in what way they want to because they're going to do it in an amazing way, right? There is a divine plan for each of us, and when acting on this faith, you may find that your intense desire for something translates into feelings of attachment and entitlement. Right now, can you immerse yourself in this experience and allow the divine plan to unfold as it will on your behalf without your interference? <laughs> can you be open to receiving what is yours even if it's not packaged in the form you thought you wanted? Perhaps if you look deeper, you will see that you've received the perfect vibrational match to your most authentic wants and needs. You have put in the work, defined your desires, and felt them deeply, and engaged your higher power. Now you must let go and see what transpires. This isn't always easy. Impatience erodes the foundations of your trust in the divine. Surrendering truly will serve your highest good. Knowing this truth is in your heart. Can that really be so difficult? <laughs> So trusting the divine also is trusting the timing, right? But I love that. Again, really getting in tune with your what your true desires are because this is amplifying the energy. Whatever your intentions are, it definitely is coming in. And I love that making a wish in here. All right, and then we're going to move into the suit of uh, pentacles, which is the element of earth. And this is the only suit that is about the outside world. You know, we talk about your energy here. We'll talk about your thoughts and your emotions. But this is the only thing that's about outside since all those are the inside. So this is all the characters that are on stage with you. Um, all the props as well, including your own body. Everything on the outside of us. Um, so this is what Creator and Spirit want you to know about your physical adventure during the month of March. So let's take a look here. So this is about the body and the outside world. And you have the Two of Pentacles. A beautiful balancing of the outside world, but also the bringing in of the upper world down into the lower world. Allowing these beautiful blessings to come into your world and really put things into balance because usually we start off out of balance because we have so many fears so many things like the the energy we're focusing on where you know we have that expanding in our life so we're over uh, out of balance into the fears and all the stuff but we're balancing out we're bringing in the blessings because of the energy that we're focusing on we're allowing the higher realm to express itself in the physical realm um, so I love the balancing uh, part of the wall that's coming in. We're also going to pull from the Sacred Forest Oracle and see what else they want you to know about your physical adventure here. Okay. And you've got the Forest Temple Enlightenment. I like it. And that is card number 19. So put that down here. And let's see what comes in with this here for you. So the sound of delicate chanting fills the forest. You follow the sound as you walk down a meandering path into a small clearing. Before you, a forest temple becomes visible. And as you get closer, it feels that the chanting is penetrating deep into your soul. Something seems to be shifting within you. Everything is the same, yet everything is somehow different. <laughs> Meditate on the light within you and around you. Connect with the ever-present energy of the divine. Right now, your awareness is increasing. Your ability to understand the world is shifting. More and more, you can see situations from all points of view, and this creates an expansion in all parts of your life. This card can also reflect times when you are seeing the world from only your personal point of consciousness, which is dramatically restricting possibilities for you. 
a one-side adamant view of life can block a vast influx of light, joy, and connection to the Creator and blessings coming in, right? When we limit them by that belief, right? What, what we thought our wishes were or how we feel things should have to come in. Strict adherence to your beliefs can obstruct wonderful opportunities from flooding your life. Be willing to step outside your limited points of view and see the world from others' perspectives and your life will expand. In temples throughout the world, initiates withdraw from their surroundings in order to gain an expanded perception of the inner reality of life. Intuition and healing abilities emerge during these times. Light is flooding into your life now. And with enlightenment, you'll feel the expansion from a limited sense of self to an awareness of the cosmos around you. And the spirit of the forest temple says, positive changes are coming. We knew that. You are lightening up. <laughs> Feel buoyant and free. Your connection to spirit is deepening. Old beliefs about who you are and what you deserve in life are falling away, replaced by incredible new paths. Yeah, such an important piece with the blessings and all of this is the more you realize who you are, the more your limiting beliefs fall away and the, your energy changes. This energy increasing is important because we raise our vibration and that attracts different things. So when we keep the lower vibration of who we were, the old beliefs, the old mindsets, then that keeps drawing in the same old, same old. But this is a change that's happening. I like it. And then we move into the suit of swords, which is the element of air. And it's your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your element. You are an air sign. And so this is not scary for you. This is where you live and breathe and where you've grown up. But this is your all those thoughts, beliefs, mindsets, expectations. And it's going to be what the creator and spirit want you to know about your uh, mental adventure during the month of March. All right, there we go, right off the bat. And we've got the Knight of Swords. So definitely movement of thought and belief and mindset, which we already knew because they are in pursuit of seeing things from a higher perspective. They quest after the Ace of Swords, which allows them to connect to those capital T truths rooted in unconditional love. It allows you to cut away the old thoughts and the old beliefs that no longer serve you. So you're really getting this fine-tuned understanding of what it is you truly want in life to make those wishes. Um, and this is that change. This is the movement of that thought to the new ways of thinking. So I like it. We're also going to pull here from the numerology guidance cards and to see what else they want you to know about your mental adventure uh, for March. That one came out right away as well. Yeah, there you go. So uh, if you had any doubt, here's the rebirth card coming in here. So definitely a new way of approaching and thinking about things that changes that. And this even talked about a rebirth and changing as well. So this card indicates a time of major transition and transformation that will result in significant personal growth. And this card is telling you that you've entered a period of spiritual awakening and rebirth where you have the opportunity to align with your higher self, your higher self, and the overarching principles that guide you. This is where you surrender to the changes around you and prepare to be the best you can be. Again, l letting go of the beliefs, allowing spirit to bring in things the way they want to bring it in. And you're being encouraged to trust and believe that a magical future awaits. But first, you need to let go of the old in order to experience the new. Take time to reevaluate your core values and re-examine your life. Then eliminate any superficial foundations that don't align with your higher self and your dreams. This is a time to recognize and rise above any ego-based thoughts and behaviors. For humility and authenticity are the keys to your success. Humility and authenticity. 
In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are leading you toward a higher level of understanding and awareness. This transformation is inevitable. So know that this is a very exciting time for you're about to become the best you can be. Wow. And the affirmation for the card, through personal transformation, I reach my greatest potential. So definitely this brightness and this, these blessings and this wish fulfillment, um, big transformation happening here. I'm liking it. <laughs> And then the last suit we're going to look at is cups, which is the element of water, it represents emotions. So this will be what Creator and Spirit want you to know about your emotional adventure during March. So for Gemini, what's going on in the emotional side? You have the Three of Cups, joy, celebration, blessings. So, so of course that's coming in here. You're going to be overjoyed in the month. And it also has a special meaning. The Three of Cups is the your posse on the other side, your spiritual team, that they are there. They got your back. They're helping you with all this. Um, you know, this beautiful connection you have with them. You know, it's your angel and your guardian angel and your spirit guides, your loved ones on the other side, your ancestors, creator, spirit, leprechauns, fairies, whatever you believe these beings of unconditional love and light are. They are with you and around you, helping celebrate, giving you so much love and so much guidance as well. So you definitely have this overflowing joy in March. I mean, hello, with all this, how could we not, right? All right. And then your final card, we're going to pull from the Journey of Love, this Oracle deck. And because it's the last card for your reading, it's... Um, can represent more information about your emotional adventure, but it's a wild card too. So whatever else the creator and spirit want you to know about your month of March. And there we go. And you've got contemplation, card number 69. So definitely there is this revisiting of things, looking at things from a different perspective really thinking about what is this wish fulfillment that you're wanting. All right. Within you, there is a question arising. What is my wish? <laughs> when you get the question right, the answer will be self-evident. But you have to plunge your consciousness deep within to find the right question to articulate it clearly and understand what it is that you're really asking. You can't make it up. That's what we've been talking about. That question within you is actually a divine gift of awakening. It is your future awakened self waiting to be found and calling to you too. Let the question arise through dreams, dance, meditation, sleep, yoga, time in nature, swimming in the ocean, bathing in an aromatherapy bath, or receiving a hot stone massage. The question holds within it the next unfolding petal of the lotus of your being. This oracle brings you an invitation to enter into the mystery of your life and your being and to allow the biggest question you can summon to emerge from your heart and be expressed through love. Your question may emerge as clear and shining or soft and yielding, a question with no words, only feeling. Whatever truth emerges, let that be your contemplation. In response to that question, the next step forward will unfold before you, revealed in perfect clarity and perfect timing. I think we had talked about timing here before too, divine timing, right? This oracle brings you a message from your own divine nature. Come sit with me and breathe. I want to ask you something. I want you to ask me something. Together, there is a conversation that we are now to have, and there will be beautiful accord between us that overflows into all of your relationships, bringing more understanding and peace. Wow. 
What an amazing month you're going to have here, Gemini. And I'm excited for it. I mean, such a beautiful transformation, really getting down to what is it that you wish? Because whatever it is, whatever your focus on, whatever your intentions are, huge, huge month. Everything's coming in fast and quick, so be careful what you wish for. I mean, you've seen enough movies with genies where you ask for something and you're not clear and you get it and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't want that. Well, that's what you asked for. What's great, though, is that um, spirit understands our heart um, and not just our words. So they see what we truly are wanting, even if we can't word it and verb it, feel it and intend it, and uh, it will come in. So I love this for you, Gemini, and that's what they have for you for the month of March. And if you'd like more messages of love from above, in addition to these monthly readings, I also put out weekly pick a card readings and some other videos throughout the month. So if you're enjoying the content, if you give me a thumbs up on the video, it does tell me that you're enjoying the content and it also allows the YouTube algorithm to share more of the videos with you. Also, if you click the subscribe button, it gives you access to the notification bell. And when you go in there, if you select the all option that's in there, two things happen. One, you're notified immediately when new videos do come out. And two, Two, you're also notified when I go live on YouTube to provide free readings. I know. Also doing those things helps spread the Zen love and it does help my channel grow in significant ways because when you like or share one of my videos, comment on one of my videos, subscribe to the channel, doing those things does make the YouTube algorithm so giddy, crazy, happy, excited, wants to automatically share my videos with other people as well. So if you're interested in doing any of those things, please know I'm very, very grateful. Also, these are general readings and if you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings. All that information is listed down in the description box of this video below. Right, beautiful soul, as you go through this amazing journey of this month, please know that every second of every day of your life that you, yes you, are unconditionally loved by the mother and the father of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing month. I'm sure we'll be talking very soon, though. In the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.